Hey, what's up under the weather virgin gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Sorry about the appearance. Sorry about lack of videos last couple days. I apologize. I haven't been feeling too great. Still having to work. Still been feeling a little bit under the weather. And then the weather, speaking of that, has been changing back and forth. It's been like freezing to like getting kind of warm to refreezing and Oh, uh, it's been great. It's just a bunch of excuses. Don't mean to bother you all that stuff. I do apologize, though. Anyway, I want to talk about this little topic real quick. It won't take too long, I promise. So I made a claim about a couple of years ago where I was saying that I thought the Pokemon TCG meta, like where, you know, opening packs, all that stuff, was going to move away from actually physically opening product and, you know, people talking about the playable side of the TCG. And eventually the content was going to turn into people just reacting to other people opening product. It was going to be mostly people doing their takes on people opening product, just looking at polls and be like, oh, hey, look at this stuff, guys. Whoa, look at that poll. Whoa, that's crazy, right? If only I opened my own product I, I don't anymore because you know fuck that i don't want to spend the money on it but look this person struck out whoa couldn't be me i wish i had these super rare cards in my collection but you know fuck that i stopped opening cards because you know in this economy am i right and you know it was going to turn into basically reaction city going to be a bunch of fucking sniper wolves and you know you know jinx reloaded's walking around but I still do think it's going to happen, maybe not quite as extreme as I thought it was back in the day, but we do have examples of that that exist. So I'm just going to go down the row, and up at the top, we got Good Times Gaming over there in Australia, I believe, and they take, you know, polls of the week. They'll take some of the biggest hits that some people will do in the Pokemon community, compile them, keep the clips relatively short, give their own opinions, actually give a little bit of insight, usually, in my personal opinion, and it's just clips. They always give credit to who they're taking stuff from and do nice little compilations, pretty good stuff. We got PokeRev, he does the same things essentially. He'll take little clips, react to them, basically do the, whoa, look at this crazy stuff with this poll going on. That's nutso, man. And he does credit people. There's the one incident where he actually forgot to give credit. He tried to alleviate that. And, you know, we all know how that went. But he does give credit to the people whose clips he compiles. We got Mystic Rips or Mystic 7. I think it's on his Mystic Rips channel. He's also started reacting to people getting crazy polls and the, the polls of the, the craziness, the craziest polls online, right? I guess he can't fucking be bothered to put any credit anywhere, but I mean, you know, whatever. At least they're just short clips, right? I think he should be putting credit in there, but you know, whatever. That's just me. And then, of course, we're just going to throw this up right here all the way down the fucking bottom. We got Dr. Pear Pod just, you know, taking people's entire videos and just putting some Door of the Explorer Sesame Street commentary over it. Like your eyeballs just don't work. Like you're blind. Like you're fucking Stevie Wonder over there. And you're just like, what? I, the Pokemon card? What the, what the fuck is this? I don't know what's going on here. And that We're doing that stuff. And it's going to stay up here the whole time too. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure he doesn't mind. So this is not the first time he's done this. And he does give credit to the person that he actually does take this video from. But what I find the craziest part about this whole thing is he literally just takes their entire video. Their entire fucking video throws it up there. He has it playing at two times speed. I currently have his video playing at two times speed for the ha ha funnies. So the actual creator who is Cash Pulls, who is opening Paldean Fates is what's going on in the background. He's opening a whole case of ETBs. I think that's 90 packs, 100 packs, something like that. He's going through and he's showing the pulls. He's showing like the stuff that they're getting from that stuff. It's about six days out, something like that from what they're getting. And they got it from their distro early. PokeRev also put out a video the same day about that stuff. They're just opening that stuff up a whole week, not seven weeks early. You know, of course, they're they're actually getting this stuff legitimately from Pokemon. But he puts the whole video up, and the entire time while it's playing, the entire time, you just got to watch this guy. You just got to look at this beautiful man up here. You know, tell you about Pokemon. Oh, whoa, guys, look at that. That's a, that right there is a Palmy. Whoa, check out this one right here. Whoa, that's that's going to be a Mankey. Do you guys remember Mankey from Gen 1? I remember Mankey from Gen 1. Mankey from Gen 1. Gen 1, oh, I love that stuff. It's so good doing absolutely fuck all to add anything to it and once again as if like you have fucking like you got sand thrown in your eyes as if they got yanked out of you fatality style like you just are incapable of looking at this stuff and it's paldean fates so it's in english the primary people that watch him speak english they understand these cards understand the whole thing the main problem with this is and what i i have a huge problem with someone doing this stuff is is you're you're essentially taking away any reason for someone to go check out their original video right you show every single pull they got out of the 90, 100 packs, and you're just like, fuck it. I'm going to put it on my channel. I'm going to, I'm not even going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to put it up at two times speed. There you go. You're only going to get, you're going to get 20 minutes of watch time for that big dog. That's what you're going to get. I'm not even going to watch the whole video. Unless, of course, you did watch it first 
and then you're, you know, putting up a second time and get putting disingenuous reactions to the polls up there. But why would he do that? I mean, he's a man of God after all. He doesn't jerk off. And if he does, he jerks off at two times speed. So God doesn't actually have to watch it. He's a good Christian after all. So, you know, that's the whole thing. He basically robbed any reason for fuck all to check out the original content creator, Cash Polls. You should definitely go check them out. They're not European, by the way. They're fucking from Singapore. If you bothered to read their comment section for the video that you're fucking snaking, you'd know that stuff. But, you know, too, too busy for you, right? I, I just got to look at those sweet Paldane Fates polls. Pretty funny you put this one up and not PokeRev's video up. But uh, he has an explanation for that. He actually does. See, right here, he's got this comment up where he's like, oh, I'm actually a saint. I'm actually fucking Superman. This guy should be sucking my cock. I'm basically promoting this person. I'm right here showing off this person's video, and I'm just trying to do my part. I'm, I'm a good Christian after all. I'm just trying to make sure this person's page gets views and clicks and exposure. They're only opening the, the fucking newest set. They're only opening the brand new set, Pal Day and Fates. And, you know, I got 3,000 views at the time of recording this, and he got 6,000 views. So I, I'm definitely helping this guy out. And I, I, I hate that comment. I really do. This no no jokes or anything. This genuinely pisses me off that you have that kind of mentality. It's it's very scummy and very pricky of you to do that shit, man. You think you're helping this person out? You think you're helping said person out? You think you taking the entire video and throwing it up there and fucking speaking spelling it is helping that person out? Dude, you wouldn't even have a fucking video if this person didn't upload the video and you're helping them out? You're helping this person out. They got 300 fucking subs and they're outperforming you in views. They don't need your help, dude. They don't need what you're doing. If you want to talk about Paldean Fates, or even better, if you want to just shout out the channel, you could show like a minute fucking clip of that stuff and give people a reason to go actually check out their page. You put up their whole fucking video, dude. Do you not understand this? Oh, wait, no, of course you do understand it because whenever you issued that copyright strike against me, that was your argument. Yes, I'll, I'll keep bringing it up every single time. Oh, he used over 75% of my video, but he was criticizing the stuff I was doing about Silver Tempest. He used 75% of my video. That's stealing the heart of my video. It's stealing it. Oh, no, not when you do it, though. Not when you play it at fucking two times speed. Is that what it is? Is that how your fucking Christian math works? I'm sorry for all the Christian jokes, by the way. He, he brings up a lot. I have nothing against people who... Who are Christian? Just <laughs> is that how your math works? Do you think like if you played at two times speed, you're only looking at fifty percent of the video, which is still a lot, by the way. But it's not quite the seventy-five percent that you fucking copyright struck someone else for. Is that your mindset for it? That's what I hate about you, man. That's what a lot of people hate about you. It's just how hypocritical you are, man. It's okay when you do it, but it's not okay when other people do. It. It's not okay when people are critical or mean or a cyber bully or tearing the Pokemon community apart, like you know other people are. You you have justification for it. You're God's warrior. You're the fucking God warrior over here, saving the day, looking out for the community by taking people's whole videos and fucking just but hey guys did, did you do you guys know there's shiny pokemon in here look at that palmy he looks a little different right he looks a tad different than some of the oh, the other pokemon around here right dude like is, is that how you justify this shit you're helping old dude fuck off man like y'all should really go check out his video y'all should go watch the original person's video regardless of how you feel about anything or just it's it's scummy in my personal opinion, just take someone's whole video, throw it up, and rob any reason for anyone to go check out the creator at fucking all, and then be like, I'm helping him out. I'm fucking helping this guy. Look at me with my giant balls and cock. This dude should be sucking it. And that's how it comes off, man. That's how. That's dead ass how it comes off. And I, I it's crazy to me that you don't see any of that stuff. And that, like, I don't know. I'm sure what's coming your way will eventually come your way. I'm amazed Collecticon still works with you, honestly. I've heard some horror stories about how you treat people. So, I don't really know. I wasn't there. But, eh, I don't know. And it kind of tracks with all the other stuff that you kind of justify doing. How you fucking plop the old nutsack on people's foreheads and be like, suck it. I just shouted you out, bro. I don't know, man. It's, it's fucking goofy. And I, I don't have the energy to go on for fucking 20 minutes about this shit. So, I won't. There you go. It's wholesale, just rebrand that stuff. I still think it's going to happen. I just think it hasn't caught on yet. And I don't think we have enough douchebags here to do it as crazy as this guy is right here. As crazy as Pearpod fucking does. Hopefully, if people do start reacting to content, they do it in a more, you know, friendly way to the content creator themselves. 
they actually show, you know, just a little bit of it. They actually transform the content itself because him showing off the Paldean Fates pulls is the whole point of his video. And the whole point of your video, Parapod, is to show off Paldean Fates hits. There's no transformation there at all. At least when I'm fucking ripping into you, I'm criticizing you and saying that what you're doing is kind of crappy for the Pokemon community. Like, two different things right there. There's a whole separate reason the video exists, man. It's fucking crazy. It's nuts to me. How you can justify that in your head. And it's crazy that people watch it too. It's crazy that people will get behind you. But hey, people have defended some way worse people, in my personal opinion. Some actual criminals. So I'm not too shocked. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin. See you later. I'll, I'll make one of these videos too. Every single time. I might just straight up react to your video too. Test me, big dog. You know I will. You'll know I do. Keep pumping these out. And I'll make sure I can do this stuff. You want to put one out every week? Hey, prepare to see me here. Every fucking week, putting pear pod right in their place. Peace.